Хотите дополнительные материалы по английскому языку? Заходите на мой сайт просто курсы.ру. Здесь вы найдете курсы, книги, карточки с английскими словами и классные пакеты с отличными предложениями и скидками. Ссылка на сайт в описании под этим видео. A present for the sweetheart. Подарок для любимой. Jack was a young sailor. Джек был молодым моряком. He lived in England, but he was often away with his ship. Он жил в Англии, но часто уплывал на своем корабле. One summer he came back from a long voyage and found new neighbors near his mother's house. Однажды летом он вернулся из долгого путешествия и нашел новых соседей рядом с домом своей матери. They had a pretty daughter, and Jack soon loved her very much. У них была хорошенькая дочь, и Джек вскоре очень сильно полюбил ее. He said to her, my next voyage will begin in a few days' time, Gloria. Он сказал ей, мое следующее путешествие начнется через несколько дней, Глория. I love you, and I'll marry you when I come back. Я люблю тебя, и я женюсь на тебе, когда вернусь. I'll think about you all the time, and I'll write to you and send you a present from every port. Я буду думать о тебе все время, и я буду писать тебе и присылать подарки из каждого порта. Jack's first port was Freetown in Africa, and he sent Gloria a parrot from there. Первым портом Джека был Фритаун в Африке, и оттуда он отправил Глории попугая. It spoke five languages. Он говорил на пяти языках. When Jack's ship reached Australia, there was a letter from Gloria. Когда корабль Джека достиг Австралии, его ждало письмо от Глории. It said, Thank you for the parrot, Jack. It tasted much better than a chicken. В нем говорилось, Спасибо тебе за попугая, Джек. Он был гораздо вкуснее курицы. А теперь послушайте рассказ без озвучки перевода. Jack was a young sailor. He lived in England, but he was often away with his ship. One summer he came back from a long voyage and found new neighbors near his mother's house. They had a pretty daughter, and Jack soon loved her very much. He said to her, my next voyage will begin in a few days' time, Gloria. I love you, and I'll marry you when I come back. I'll think about you all the time, and I'll write to you and send you a present from every port. Jack's first port was Freetown in Africa, and he sent Gloria a parrot from there. It spoke five languages. When Jack's ship reached Australia, there was a letter from Gloria. It said, Thank you for the parrot, Jack. It tasted much better than a chicken. A weight loss diet. Диета для похудения. Miss Green was very fat. Miss Green была очень толстой. She weighed 100 kilos. And she was getting heavier every month. Она весила 100 килограммов, и с каждым месяцем становилось все тяжелее. So she went to see her doctor. Поэтому она пошла к своему врачу. He said, you need a diet, Miss Green, and I've got a good one here. Он сказал, вам нужна диета, Miss Green, и у меня есть хорошая. He gave her a small book and said, read this carefully and eat the things on page 11 every day. Он дал ей маленькую книжку и сказал, прочтите это внимательно и ешьте то, что указано на странице 11 каждый день. Then come back and see me in two weeks time. Затем приходите ко мне через две недели. Miss Green came again two weeks later, but she wasn't thinner, she was fatter. Мисс Грин пришла снова через две недели, но она не была худее, 
Она была толще. The doctor was surprised and said, Are you eating the things on page 11 of the small book? Доктор был удивлен и спросил, Вы едите то, что написано на странице 11 маленькой книжки? Yes, doctor. She answered. Да, доктор, ответила она. The next day the doctor visited Miss Green during her dinner. На следующий день доктор навестил мисс Грин во время ее ужина. She was very surprised to see him. Она была очень удивлена, увидев его. Мисс Грин, he said, why are you eating potatoes and bread? Мисс Грин, сказал он, почему вы едите картошку с хлебом? They aren't in your diet. Их нет в вашей диете. But doctor, Miss Green answered, I ate my diet at lunchtime. Но доктор, ответила мисс Грин, я съела все, что было в моей диете во время ланча. This is my dinner. Это мой ужин. А теперь послушайте рассказ без озвучки перевода. Miss Green was very fat. She weighed 100 kilos, and she was getting heavier every month. So she went to see her doctor. He said, you need a diet, Miss Green, and I've got a good one here. He gave her a small book and said, read this carefully and eat the things on page 11 every day. Then come back and see me in two weeks' time. Miss Green came again two weeks later, but she wasn't thinner, she was fatter. The doctor was surprised and said, are you eating the things on page 11 of the small book? Yes, doctor, she answered. The next day the doctor visited Miss Green during her dinner. She was very surprised to see him. Miss Green, he said, why are you eating potatoes and bread? They aren't in your diet. But doctor, Miss Green answered, I ate my diet at lunchtime. This is my dinner. A teacher in Greece. Учитель в Греции. Mr. Day was a teacher at a school in a big city in the north of England. Mr. Day был учителем школы в большом городе на севере Англии. He usually went to France or Germany for a few weeks during his summer holidays. Он обычно уезжал во Францию или Германию на несколько недель во время летних каникул. And he spoke French and German quite well. И он говорил по-французски и по-немецки довольно хорошо. But one year Mr. Day said to one of his friends, I'm going to have a holiday in Athens. Но однажды мистер Дэй сказал одному из своих друзей, я собираюсь провести отпуск в Афинах. But I don't speak Greek, so I'll go to evening classes and have Greek lessons for a month before I go. Но я не говорю по-гречески, поэтому я пойду на вечерние занятия и буду брать уроки греческого языка в течение месяца, прежде чем уеду. He studied very hard for a month, and then his holidays began and he went to Greece. Он очень усердно учился в течение месяца, а потом у него начались каникулы, и он отправился в Грецию. When he came back a few weeks later, his friend said to him, Когда он вернулся через несколько недель, его друг сказал ему, Did you have any trouble with your Greek when you were in Athens, Dick? У тебя были какие-нибудь проблемы с греческим языком, когда ты был в Афинах, Дик? No, I didn't have any trouble with it, answered Mr. Day. Нет, у меня не было никаких проблем с этим, ответил мистер Дэй. But the Greeks did. Но у греков были. А теперь послушайте рассказ без озвучки перевода. Mr. Day was a teacher at a school in a big city in the north of England. He usually went to France or Germany for a few weeks during his summer holidays, and he spoke French and German quite well. 
But one year Mr. Day said to one of his friends, I'm going to have a holiday in Athens. But I don't speak Greek, so I'll go to evening classes and have Greek lessons for a month before I go. He studied very hard for a month, and then his holidays began and he went to Greece. When he came back a few weeks later, his friend said to him, Did you have any trouble with your Greek when you were in Athens, Dick? No, I didn't have any trouble with it, answered Mr. Day. But the Greeks did. 